And this has prompted talks between the top nuclear envoys of South Korea, the U.S. and Japan, demanding that Pyongyang halt the satellite launch. The South Korean government once again says it will take necessary measures should it happen. Our North Korean affairs correspondent Kim jong shin reports. Top nuclear envoys of South Korea, the U.S. and Japan talked over the phone on Tuesday and decided to strongly demand that Pyongyang stop the launch of a military reconnaissance satellite. South Korea's special representative for Korean Peninsula Peace and Security Affairs, Kim Gon, talked with his U.S. and Japanese counterparts, Chung Bak and Namazu Hiroyuki, and confirmed that any launch by North Korea using ballistic missile technology, even if it was used for a satellite, is a clear violation of U.N. Security Council resolutions. The officials also reaffirmed that they would work closely with each other to strengthen regional deterrence and response capabilities, including security cooperation. An official from South Korea's Ministry of Unification also told reporters the same day that the ministry will take necessary follow-up measures regarding the North's official announcement of the third attempt to launch the reconnaissance satellite. The official said the launch was a clear violation of UN Security Council resolutions and a provocative action seriously threatening regional security. He added that South Korea, the U.S. and Japan would work closely against Pyongyang's provocations. Meanwhile, the U.S. Department of State expressed its concerns on Monday local time over possible military cooperation between North Korea and Russia. He said Moscow would be violating UNSC resolutions that Russia itself voted for and added that the country should not supply North Korea with technology that would violate the resolutions. Concerns over possible technology cooperation surfaced when North Korean leader Kim Jong-un met with Russian President Vladimir Putin in September at a rocket launch facility in Russia's Far East. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.